Welcome back, my fellow Duplicants, to Oxygen Not Included. The crazy amount of sorting, sifting, and storage is what I've got going on here. It's been, uh, at this point, a multi-week project. Yes, and it is still going. Um, what I'm looking to do over here is to sort all of my various solids in the game. So that's going to be like dirt, mm, stone, metals, all of that. All of that's going to be filtered right here automatically using the solid rocket port unloader. So this is the expanded, uh, the third version, at least of what I'm working on here. I've got the gas system up and running, and that is actually doing um, what it needs to do. So bringing in natural gas, we've got oxygen, hydrogen, that stuff's flowing around, looking pretty good. And then on top of that, we got a bunch of pipes. A lot of these aren't doing anything just yet, but... All right, I got the water system up and running. So I'm bringing in all of the salt water here, which is then pumping out the nice clean water there. And you can see that it's making all the different choices and being filtered back uh, because it's, well, it's not polluted water. I think if polluted water goes in here, it will just skip past the desalinator and run into this where we will then convert it into clean water. Aha! So that is running all the way down here, and I'm storing up, well, I'm storing up all sorts of things. But the clean water, for right now, <laughs> is running all the way down here. Runs all the way, I know, well, let me just pause it. Runs all the way over here, and goes into uh, three different oil wells. Those oil wells are obviously giving off crude oil, which is then getting pumped with a bunch of different liquids. So some polluted water, some salt. And that is now flowing over here. So I've got polluted water that's going into fertilizer synthesizers. The crude oil is going up here, which will then be converted into petroleum. And since we have extra polluted water and I don't have any use for salt, that is going back on over here to the filtering system. The liquid system is finally coming together, which is cool, which means I could possibly start to run some rocket stuff off of that. Okay, one of the other things I had to do here was I had to bring in some more carbon dioxide to this spawn right here. I think Lerda at one point had destroyed this tile right there, which brought in oxygen to this area and destroyed about 5 million calories of food. I don't know exactly what cycle it happens. I just kind of let this game run in the background now, but Lerda, you really messed up. But that's all right. We're able to convert that back into food. You know, because it goes rotten, and then we can actually turn it into dirt and do the whole thing over again. But, yep, if you're wondering where all of my food went, uh, that's where it went right there. So, now it's got oil on both sides, so it's a little bit more efficient if you're cooking over here. Alright, so the solid system, you can see over here I've sorted everything all the way down to slime. So the next thing here is raw minerals. So, igneous rock mathic obsidian all right so there we go a big line of solid rocket port unloaders not quite done with all of them yet but i'm getting pretty close i think the end of the line will be somewhere right over here so i might have to move some of my solar panels and all that stuff a little bit further to the left maybe towards the edge of the map which i've st i still haven't made it all the way over there yet another thing i'm going to do here i like this uh, just putting solar panels underneath this seems like a really space efficient way to go about this. Um, so I'm using diamond up here to kind of just let that light through to do all of that stuff that it needs to do, which is great because I have been running the diamond press down here a lot. Now I have 11.5 tons that have come directly out of the diamond press, um, but I've also been digging it up down here since I've actually made it to the bottom. You can see that there's just loads and loads of diamond right there. And actually I have access to this area now because I have a Little port right there and another port right there so you can kind of run through. Oh no, what happened to this spot? Well, sorry dupes, you don't get to go through there. Ha! Hey, there we go, now the pipe's cleared out. Except for this one. Oh man, how much polluted water? Oh, okay, not too much, not too much. That won't be too bad. So now, now that I've got that petroleum down here, I should really have a petroleum out line. And the idea behind that is to... Oh my... <laughs> To come all the way up here to fill up one of these rockets with petroleum. Clearly, all I have to do is take it from all the way down here to, <laughs> to way up there. Come on now. 
That's um, that's not, that's rude. Well, sorry dupes. By the way, you can see how I've kind of worked this here. We've got the salt water going in here, clean coming out. Why is there petroleum? What? Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. So the rockets here with the larger engines, you can't build the ladder right next to them like we can with the Radbolt engines. So this is technically a blank rocket platform. At least that's what I'm going to consider it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to build a ladder over it. That way I know, uh, that way rockets hopefully don't try to land there. But we'll see. And then on top of this, I'm going to go ahead and build what I need. So I need a large liquid fuel tank, one of those, then a large oxidizer tank, which I will probably just try to fill with oxalite. Now, I don't think I'm going to use the steam engine, so we're going to get rid of that. And this will be another blank rocket platform right here. So that way I can get over here to the hydrogen engine. Okay, cool. Looks like I can go ahead and clean up some gas pipes in this area. I was bringing oxygen all the way up here at one point, but I don't need to do that anymore. So I noticed I was able to do this number here with the solar panel. I was able to use heavy watt wires behind this solar panel somehow. And I'm not sure how that was possible. I tried to recreate it and I just wasn't able to do it. So you can see over here, I'm just using the, the normal conductive wire. It's kind of an odd thing that I was kind of ran into there. But I think what I'm going to have to do here is actually take the power and run it through a transformer to get it back into the grid. But luckily, a lot of this stuff here is already kind of being built on heavy conductive wires here. So I can go ahead and tie that into my big power grid right here. You know, small wire. All right. I have too many Prince Puffs down here. They're not doing me any good. They need to go. I mean, I gotta get back to a million food somehow. Barbecue's on the menu. There you go, poo tank. Cook it up. Now, don't ask me how this grub grub got down here. Like, that's a mystery. <laughs> maybe, maybe the egg was down here at about the same time that Lurda broke down the, the wall. Or maybe Lurda broke down the wall to get the grub grub out. That might be it too. All right, so one of the things I'm also going to do here, now that all my dupes have these nice new comfy beds, I'm gonna give them little buddy buds. Since I have so many of them. There you go. Look at that, it's almost positive decor in there. Who wants a marble statue, hmm? Oh yeah, you do, you too. Oh. Everybody wants a marble statue. Now hold up, hold up. Lerda, you don't get a buddy bud. No, you destroyed five million calories of uh, food there. So, nope, you're going to get a cactus. Remember what you did, Lerda. Although this is quite a nice upgrade here, so I don't want to hear any complaining. All right, so I may have a lot of things queued up already, but you know what? I can still use a few more things. That way I can let it run for a while. Uh, what I really want to figure out here is how am I going to do the inventory system here? I want my dupes to be able to pick up and use the resources. Well, I think a receptacle would be perfect for this, except for the situations where it might be something that off gases. So let me work through that scenario here. Clearly we're going to make the floor out of diamond. All right, so then for shipping, I think I could just go ahead and put the receptacle right above this. Oh, oh man, oh man, it just keeps going, okay. <laughs> Okay, so now we're also going to need to be able to get to the location. Uh, plus, if this stuff needs to be underwater, then I'll probably do something a bit like this. And it'll probably be made out of insulated uh, instead of actual window tile. But yeah, that'll be for later. So, I think what I'll do up here is just put down Mafic Ladder right there all the way across. And then, because I want my dupes to be able to get here very efficiently, here's what we'll do. Put in a big old transit tube all the way across yes and then you can come out right above the stuff that you need so you could just go right there boop oh yes there we go so you could just come out boop, wherever you need to go and then I'll have some entrances uh, where you can get back in and fly back down to wherever it is you need to go. 
nice and efficient. Oh, you know what? I may not want to use receptacles. I might just want to use ports. Mm, because they would back up the conveyors, which would then back up the storage unit. <laughs> this is obnoxious. Alright, that's probably good for now. Alright, so I have just made it to cycle 1000, believe it or not. And look at all of this ridiculous storage. So all of this is coming together nicely. I'm going to go ahead and just put my loading port right here for now. I'm actually going to... I'll have to move this rocket just a little bit, but... What I'm going to do now is start to load this thing up. Sorry about the lag. It constantly keeps spiking up every time the rad bolts... <clears throat> every time the rad bolts start shooting around. I don't know why, but it's kind of... A it's, it's quite annoying. So one of the things that I've been doing here since I started this playthrough is I've been using these storage bins to just stack up all of this material. It's not all of it. I mean, there's still a ton of it down here at the bottom that I haven't swept up, but there's going to be a ton of stuff right here. Because what I've been doing is I've just kind of been unselecting everything and then reselecting it and just saying sweep only. So this is where we're going to start sweeping things up. So let me go in here with an auto sweeper. Boom. All right, then I'll put the conveyor loader right there, right in the middle. And then for the rail, we'll just load that up right there. Ha ha. I can move all of this stuff into the rocket and then sort it out from there. That'll be good. All right, so there we go. Everything is loaded into that spot. And once we finish up building this, oh, there we go. Come on, dupes, just a little bit more. What priority is that? Ooh, eight. Not good enough. Priority level nine. Come on, Wobbledorn. It's your job to pick up the lead and take it all the way back. Come on, dude. You can do it. Oh, you failed. All right, let's see if Derpy Dupe can do it. There you go. You have some lead with you. <laughs> oh, no. That's the end of the cycle right there. Carried items, none. Oh, no construction for me today. You just picked it up and dropped it, Lerda. What? <laughs> My dupes, they just won't do it. Come on, Meep, you got it. There you go, Meep. There you go, Meep. Yes. Oh, oh and Wobbledorn is coming back to construct it. Excellent. All right, finally. So now I should see that some things are shipping out. Excellent. So this is only going to move 20 kilograms per second, which is actually going to take a very, very long time. However, I can give it more inputs if I have more places to ship stuff in. So technically I can make this go a lot faster. All right, but before then, let's see how this thing actually works. So we're shipping in here, all of this different stuff. And we can see that sandstone Look at that. It doesn't even touch the rocket. Well, I mean, it does, but then it, it exits right away. Cool. What if we disable that building real quick? Okay, so I've disabled it. It's no longer kicking out the sandstone, but we are collecting it over here. Let me try another thing real quick. All right, so check this out. I'm able to disable the solid rocket port by opening the door up beneath it. So if I close that, yes, it will unload. What if I just disable this? Nice. Okay, so I don't think I need the doors. I can actually just, if I really wanted to, I could hook all of this stuff up to automation. So that could be really useful for something like loading up the rockets up here, which use oxalate, which I don't necessarily want to unload all the time. Um, so if I could actually just leave it inside of here, well, then I don't have to worry about it. You can see I'm doing some other things here. I've got some solar panels going in, along with some Atmosuit docks. That'll all be fed oxygen. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm making progress here. Still sifting out sand. That's going here and there. I do have a solid rocket port loader over here. And that will be loaded from rockets all the way up here like that. So that's where the rockets are going to come in. I wasn't thinking through this correctly. I need to actually do something a little bit different here. So to go out into space, kind of working with rockets and whatnot, 
I actually need them to enter into an Atmos suit if they find their way up here. So I kind of need to isolate all of the stuff up here from the stuff down here, if that makes sense. <laughs> all right, so Lerda was trying to break a lot of my machines. She's way too efficient at it. And every now and then she just flip on over to 100% for some odd reason, even though she has like her own massage table, but whatever. So I'm gonna shake her up here. She'll forget about all her problems here in just a moment. The key here is to try to keep her rate at 60% for her to be real efficient, but you know what? Her job now is basically done. We've already done all the research. So, mm, she can scale back a little bit. And besides, if I'm trying to leave the game to run for a couple hours, the last thing I need is a dupe running around randomly destroying stuff. I think there's a few tiles missing here and there, thanks to Lerda. I've been patching them every now and then, but I've noticed like this corner was gone, that corner was gone. Just places where she was beating her head against the wall. See, right now she's stressed. 5% per cycle, which is actually pretty good. It's about where I want it to be. But now, now that she's been reset, look at that. Minus 40% per cycle. Enjoy that slightly warm granite tile, Lerda. You deserve it. Alright, so I've made some good progress here. What I've done here is actually redesigned uh, the entrance system here. So this is actually, they're not inside suits when they come up here. So they can get into this area. But if they want to go into the rockets, then we'll actually have to go through exosuits and whatnot up here. That seems to make more sense. But then again, if they're going to do some stuff in here, then maybe I want them inside of Atmos suits as well. But for right now, they're actually just kind of holding their breath. So we'll see if they die <laughs> or not. They shouldn't have to run too far, though, to get back to oxygen. So hopefully this isn't a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> Progress report. We have had one death, Blade Montana. Sorry, duplicate. Looks like you got snuck over here at the very end of this whole system right here. So there is a bit of risk with this. You could potentially get into a spot where the duplicate will run out of oxygen. Hmm. I think I know a way around this without actually getting too crazy with things. And then I just pipe up gas you know, right next to this thing. I should just be able to give off a little puff of oxygen when a duplicate's nearby. <laughs> See these dupes, they, I put this ladder right here so that they could run across the top of it. Clearly that's not working. <laughs> How inefficient can you be, duplicate? Jeez. So right now I'm trying to sweep up everything up here just to kind of clean it from, you know, deconstructing everything. I don't want to have everything mixed. <laughs> that drives me nuts. Dupes, just run across the top. No! Fine. I'll do this. Time for a little tasteful memorial. Here, we'll put it right here. Right next to where everybody goes. We'll put a couple of them there, just in case. Blade Montana was here. Thank you for your service. You were a good dupe. Brian, welcome to the base. Thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. All right, so increased bladder, crop tending, a little bit of food poisoning, no problem. You'll be fine. Okay, so another thing I did right on over here is I've actually put in just a couple of these conveyor loaders and they'll be for duplicate use. So that way I should be able to sweep some things up a little bit faster and load it at up to 60 kilograms per second rather than the 20 kilograms per second I'm currently doing just through the one shipping rail. And then I put in some automation over here. So I can actually turn all of these, well, most of these on or off with one click. All right, so moment of truth here. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like when I go to unload all of this stuff at the same time. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. Copy that to all of those. And Flip everything to green. Here we go. Ha! Look at all that stuff. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, so that seems to be working out reasonably well. Seems like everything is sorting out nicely. Cool. Uh, another thing that I've been working on here is all the way down here. I've actually put in a giant shipping line. This one goes from the bottom of my base all the way up and it will connect up here so that I can actually uh, sweep things up from the bottom. 
Now this will get kind of hot in this area, so I've tried to keep it away at least from the main base here. We'll see how that goes. But that is just going to be responsible for sweeping this stuff up down here. And possibly some other locations, like all the way down here where there's just a lot of stuff. But that's a project for next time. At any rate, this is all I got time for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out.